You've seen the results of my own family trash audit. But today I'm at Emory University with Emory Recycles, and they've recruited a group of student volunteers to audit the trash from a dorm. Let's see how this goes. Hi, I'm Paula Reefcall, Sustainability Chair of Parasol. Right here we're doing our recycling audit where we're getting all the trash cans and sorting through them to see how much of the waste could have been recycled. We collected about 85 pounds of total material. So when you do a waste audit, you have to weigh everything combined. So all your landfill trash, composting and recycling. So we weighed all that first. We had 85 pounds of material here. We're going to be sorting through all of this and at the very end we're going to weigh how much we have left of that could actually go to the landfill and can't be recyclable. Right now we only have one bag and it's not even filled up, even though we've gone through over 10 bags of trash. Um, these are all material that we diverted from the landfill. We, had, we separated out plastic, aluminum, mixed white, compost, uh, and then we had uh, several smaller streams of you know, various things that we uh, recycle here that we may not have a large volume of. This is the only thing that would need to go to the landfill, which Tom is going to take because he has a place to process it, and it doesn't even weigh a pound. We had a pretty good turnout, 10 to 15 students. We would have loved to have had more so that more students would have been able to engage in this opportunity to learn about ways that they can individually make a difference. 34 pounds was your biggest total. What do you think that was? Compost. So, I guess the lesson today is most things that are on your campus can be composted, can be recycled. Uh, one thing that I would like to tell you, and I don't know if you all realize this, that your voices are more powerful than any voices on this campus. I mean, Emory is here for the students. So if you want to see composting of paper towels in a facility, use your voice. Let that be known. Student government, you know, that's probably the strongest voice on campus. You know, if you're not seeing these opportunities to divert material, again, use your voice because these things can happen. They're happening in buildings all over campus. I believe we all have an innate connection with Living Green that sometimes gets lost in the hectic nature of our lives. My mission is to reconnect you to simply help you see green so you can be green. And as an added benefit, save a little green. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for new videos every Saturday.